Hey, hey let's, let's talk. talk with James, James and Lorraine. Lorraine. Mm -hmm. Dealing with real life issues here. Mm -hmm. Our guest today is mm -hmm. Reverend Harvey Cl uh, no, Clastina Warren from San Diego, California. Mm -hmm. And our topic is chaos in our land. How many know that 2020, we went through a shutdown in our nation? You know, business was closed, schools closed, churches closed. And how many know in 2021, we went through a pandemic, deaths, how many know many people lost their loved ones, had to take vaccines. Now we're in 2022, we are still not back to a normal lifestyle. How many know, you know, you can't miss it, it's on the news, it's war between Ukraine and, and Russia, war between races, and food shortages, gas, housings, and, you know, everything is just uh, sky high. <laughs> So what does the future hold, many may say. So today, you know, we, I guess it's uh, Reverend Harvey and Clastina Warren from San Diego, California. Mm -hmm. And before they say their part, I'm a husband, do you have something mm -hmm. you want to say? <laughs> well, they can really go on and just see what's going on over there. And as well as over here, we want to just see what is uh, the Lord saying to you. What is the Lord saying yeah. to you all, yeah. okay? So what, mm -hmm. Now we went through the same thing mm -hmm. um, here, you know, lost. Loved ones, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, with, in the church family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I was told that uh, people lost their jobs and businesses shut down. And, yeah. And it just had all kind of things happen about the same thing on that end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. But uh, as and we, we sister Faith, that who is joining us today, she lost her son. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. So, huh. mm -hmm. house, but, you know, we knew God was good. Yeah. Yeah. So it, uh -huh. it didn't affect us in a way we were worried or panicking or nothing because when you know you have the presence of God, you know He's with you, you know, believe He's yeah. the Savior. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we just depended mm -hmm. on that and it really uh, kept us in a secure state. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and but uh, uh, we are we are praying for the drought here and other things. And so oh, he got I know. And the drought. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We got a drought that started back in two thousand. Oh. Mm -hmm. and still going on. Oh, so my goodness. Okay. Okay. Five million fires. Wow. Uh, uh. Since two thousand. Mm -hmm. And so. And then it's just an add to us. Mm -hmm. Things to pray about. And so, but we came through and God really gave us strength. And gas prices now are outrageous. Uh, so, what is, so, what is, so, what is the price of gas out there now? Uh, gas is regular. We got it for the cheapest we got is $5.59. Woo! Oh, okay. Okay. And that's regular Costco. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. We're hoping that's gonna come down, but it's, what is it there? Mm. Uh, uh, we had three. The, the, the cheapest thing I have found was I think we saw some for three forty eight. That's about the cheapest we could find. You know, that's a yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Great, wow. Uh -huh. Okay. But, I think you had a question what is the food shortage? Uh, mm -hmm. We didn't have a food shortage, but mm -hmm. we don't seem to have a problem with supply here. You mm -hmm. know, it's just the price is going up. Yeah. Steel mm -hmm. is going up. Mm -hmm. and the containers are shrinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We and, was. Uh, okay. They good. do expect eggs and pork and beef to go up here. Mm -hmm. Because of uh, Proposition 12, which mm -hmm. tells us, which says that farmers have to make better space for pigs, cows, and chickens. Oh, mm. oh okay. So okay. But that's going to drive up things because you can't just turn them all in there together. You got to have yeah. so many feet apart. Mm. So they have to have more buildings, more room, and they'll pass it on and use it to us. No. Well, okay. you, you know what? The other week we went. Jane wanted a banana pudding, and do you know we couldn't find any uh, vanilla wafers? Vanilla wafers. Yeah. Oh. We went but, uh, everywhere, honey. Yeah. I, I went to Walmart. I was in the banana pudding. 
a winter Walmart. The, the you know the big box we used to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's not, like say sixty nine is like fourteen now, and it was almost four dollars for that one little box. So I just just passed. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You keep finding they very very seldom can you find the networks. So when you do, they I, almost four dollars over four dollars. Yeah. I I finally found some a couple of weeks later, and that's how much they were about four sixty nine. Yeah, uh, something. Yeah. Maybe something like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Wow. All right. Mm. Well, you know, go, go ahead. I was saying, but God is saying to me that the nation is in serious trouble. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What he was saying, what he was saying, uh, mm -hmm. that the only way we can come out of this is repentance. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You know, politicians won't bring us out. That's right. That's right. That's right. And it's going to be the church. That's right. That yeah. Has the power to bring us out of the situation. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether each one of you have some questions. No. But mm -hmm. that, that was gonna go, into. go right on. Whatever you said. Yeah. Go right You're on. Fine. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you know, there are three institution that this country is made up from and that would be the family the church and the government mm -hmm. those are what put the country in order mm -hmm. and so when the family is not functioning properly mm -hmm. you, you see God tells us that Ephesians 6 4 says to bring up the, your children in that's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's and good. So when that's not functioning properly, when people are raising the children in that proper way, then then you don't have trouble in the nation because everybody's coming out of the family. That's yeah. right. That's, that's right. Good. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. So when I said family, church, when you look at the church. Uh, the church, the family goes to the church, that's where the morals come from. Mm -hmm. The church mm -hmm. brings morals back into the community. Yeah. Yes. And so if the church is not operation, not functioning properly, right, right. you really got a problem. That's right. Show help. You know, that's right. That's you good. Okay. People, and, and I'm saying I see so much of this where that just people have a religion. But they don't have Ooh, you said it. You said it. That's it. Right. That's. They, they go to church. They hear the word, but they suppress it because it's just about religion to them. I go mm -hmm. to church. That's, that's it. Yeah. If you don't have the relationship, then you don't have the relationship. That's what God is called us to. Relationship with Jesus Christ. Then it takes something out of the church. Uh huh. It's a women show. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we are in this country. We got. Real, saved, Holy Ghost filled people <laughs> in the congregation. And you have so much religion. That's yes, right. Yeah. That's right. And, uh, even kind of, you know, people know such and so and so. And over there, you know, like say, but so and so and so and so, maybe four or five people they're talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> yeah. they say, I don't like to go over there because them people, they, they just, they aren't living the life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are some Christians in there. So that's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. So that's some of the problems we have. And then out of the families will come the leaders in the government. And mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. see how crooked they are. Yeah. 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 So that yeah, means sure. that the word of God is no longer dominating in this country. That's the right. That's is right. Running loose. And it's going to take revival yeah. to bring it back. You're right. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where I see that we are. Right. Boy, that's a serious problem because mm -hmm. only God can bring us out of it. it that's used right. To be that's a right. time when you could, uh, when, when, you know, like a family, when a child is disciplined and you can kind of control, mm -hmm. it's not, it works. That's the way politics was. It would work. It could change the rules and laws. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But uh, today, it's like a child that that was spoiled when he was young. <laughs> yeah. He grows up and then you try to discipline after he gets that old. Yeah. Yeah. Really it's yeah. right. Too, yeah. It's not too late. The way the country is just out of order. Yeah. 
politicians can't put it back. There was a time to change things, mm -hmm. and, and even in politics. But now it's a flood of, of evil. Yeah. So it sure, yeah. Yes, it is. And it God will. said, if not, people who call by my name will humble themselves and pray, mm -hmm. he can heal the land. That's right. Yeah. So okay. That's yeah. Where we are now. And, uh, I, do I need to stop so I'm let you talk? <laughs> well, you're fine. Wait. Well, you know, to, it, the people seem so angry now. Just mm -hmm. yeah. least little thing, they just upset about stuff. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, the sad part about it is, you know, as Christians, when we go back to what Harvey was saying, it's going to take the Christians to bring it back together. We all will come on one accord. Yeah. Right. We, That's right. We are different. And the saddest part I, I saw when we started was even sometimes on TV where, you know, uh, where different ministers would come on TV on, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And some of them could be the ones that closed the church, and some of them could be <laughs> the ones that were open to the church. <laughs> and God said we are all different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and he, you know, a good example of it is when when you bring the politics into it and, and condemning your brother, all over the world, if we're saying we're brothers and sisters in the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we if we if I don't see what you see, God is showing you something different than He's showing me. Yeah. And, and <laughs> we need to come together with each other. Mm -hmm. and I know mm -hmm. Pat, our, our cousin Pat Martin and Russ, you know, on our straight mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. She always sending me messages and uh, uh, things that she sees. And, and our strength is not here like it used to be. I'm going to read this and says, Let's ask the Lord to develop our inner strength so that when we are faced with life's blows and burdens upon us, we would not cave in. We pray in Jesus' name that he would grant us, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit into the inner man. We ask God to remind us of his time. His time is perfect. Mm -hmm. So we don't mm -hmm. have to be discouraged. Mm -hmm. Our Father has one of the things in store for us now and forevermore. So we pray for the power of the Holy Spirit in us. It's greater than the pressures and troubles around us. So we thank God for his Holy Spirit to remind us that he's in control. But when we start coming against each other as sisters and brothers yeah. and mm -hmm. Lord, mm -hmm. you know, it brings more chaos because That's right. you just, you know, a good example I have for friends. And she says, she didn't take the vaccine. She said, because the Lord said he would heal. But I told her, I said, the Lord told us to take the vaccine. You know, we're still friends. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. She has mm -hmm. her mask on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She mm -hmm. doesn't question me. I didn't question her. Mm -hmm. Because God told That's us right. something. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. But we still love each other. Yes. And she respects what I said. Yeah. I respect her. Yeah. And her name yeah. is, 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 I call her Spencer, but she in Venice, Jean Spencer. She had, she had that mask. Mm -hmm. Because she knows that the Lord said, you all take the booster. You all do it. But he didn't tell her. He, you know, and so many churches here, especially in California. Mm hmm you know, they come down on each other. If you go in there with a mask on, they look at me. I've been there. Harv and I went and we had our mask on and we felt uncomfortable because they were looking at us and they were saying, you don't believe in God. Yeah. So we got to come together as one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's you know, right. And even what God tells you, I have to respect it. You know, mm -hmm. because we're all, and I like what uh, Pat is saying, we're all different. And we're different, like the sun, the moon, all of us, the sun, and the moon, and the stars, they all were created by God, but he, they have different purposes. And we as Christians, uh, uh, Brother James, you're a pastor. Your gift is different than Harvey's gift. That's right. But mm -hmm. we're all one in Christ. And That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and to me, in order for us to come together, God is going to have to bring a revival in us for this world to change. And now he, I think he's really, I mean, God is really coming to us as Christians, saying the only way this is going to be right 
Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Everything each one says, but we yeah. have to come together and mm-hmm. not condemn each other over the TV, you know, and condemn your brother for, for not wanting to open his church or for your brother that's opening his church. You know, we got to come together as Christians. That's true. Mm-hmm. That great revival will come when we come together. That's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's going to take in the USA. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All yes, over the world. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. Mm-hmm. We, we have to get it together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we're blessing the God that didn't lower to materialism. Yeah. Right. It is. He says, seeking first the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. And he'll add all this to it. That's right. You know, many ministers. Congregation that turned it the other way. That's right. That's right. Christ, you know? uh-huh. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The great blessing are material. Yeah. When God said He lavished upon us forgiveness, yeah. mm-hmm. peace, and eternal life, love, joy, mm-hmm. 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 you know, it's not earth, it comes from heaven. These are the riches, but people have turned that around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure will. So, mm-hmm. so all of that has to be put in order for a good revival. I mean, well, that will be revival when it comes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. I did the word three That's right. If we can change people's thinking, we can change their behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But but you know what? When you look at it, I wish you could get Christian, like you said, get the Christian to get the whole picture of it. It's really the enemy that's bringing division between all of us. It's the enemy. And and it's it's not that person, Mm -hmm. not the black person, not the white person, not, like Mm -hmm. you said, another church. Mm -hmm. It's the enemy. And if you look at it, he's he's really bringing the vision. And. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The saddest part, the saddest part is he bringing the vision within us as Christians. That's right. Mm-hmm. Show him. That's right. That's right. Okay. That is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as far as this is what I see the nation today, as Isaiah said in fifty nine two. Mm-hmm. He said your iniquities mm-hmm. separate That's right. you yeah. from your God. That's right. <laughs> Your sins have hidden his face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he will not hear. So that's kind of where we are. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Right? That's exactly right. We're separated. And all the mm-hmm. things that have happened to me, I see, you know, I believe that sin affects nature and everything. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen, mm-hmm. you know, when uh, Adam and Eve sin, it everything. Mm-hmm. And if you, I, I think all, now I'm looking at this with storms and floods, yeah, and yeah, fires, mm-hmm. and that more sin uh, comes in, you know, God and pushing God out. That's right. And getting power to do things. Mm-hmm. And we know that He can do things, so He did it with Job, with, with weather. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, healed Job's family, uh, uh, mm-hmm. life and storm. Mm-hmm. And so. Mm-hmm. If you give him power, he doesn't have power. But when we see him giving power, so I think to me it affects everything. That's right. Mm-hmm. You can say the ozone layer, but uh, you know, maybe causing uh, mm-hmm. a lot of this, but still, it's through Satan to me. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. that's right. I agree. Okay. Yeah. You know, I was looking at here. I was looking here in uh, Second Timothy. When the Apostle Paul was talking to uh, uh, Pastor Timothy in the, uh, the third chapter, in the, in the translation in the Living Bible, he says, You may as well know this too, that Timothy, that in the last days it's going to be very difficult to be a Christian. Yes. He, said, for, he said, For people will love only themselves and their money, and they will be proud, they'll be boastful, 
sneering at God and disobedient to their parents, ungrateful to him, and thoroughly bad. <laughs> he said they will be hard-headed and never give, give in to others. They'll be constant liars and troublemakers and will think nothing of immorality. They will be rough and cruel and sneer at those who try to be good. They will betray their friends. They will be hot-headed, puffed up with pride, and prefer good times to worshiping God. They will go to church, yes, but they won't really believe anything they hear. He said, don't be taken in by people like that. So I believe that's too where we stand at today. It's like, you know, I mean, God says we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. If only people realize it's not my wife. Those moments that come, I get puffed at her. It's not her. <laughs> it's the enemy. It's Satan. We're wrestling, uh, fighting against principalities and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual weakness in high places. This is what's going on according to scripture. But, but people want to go by what they see and what they feel. And, you know, talking about Christian brothers and sisters, we should be able to get along fine. But I'm fine. Some people, you're right. They will look at you sideways like, well, aren't you a Christian? Because maybe I didn't see some things, maybe you saw it, you know, and then their opinion, then they get mad at you. But where's the love? <laughs> yeah, where's the love? Okay. Mm. All right. Okay, well. But, mm -hmm. but you know what? Uh, when we started going through all this, it's like it did something to me a little bit mentally. I can't explain it. Like, now, now when I go out, it's, it's just an automatic thing. You know, you see somebody you hadn't seen in a long time. Well, you see they want to hug, and my first thought is, oh, you have the COVID? Is it okay to hug you? And, I, you, know, I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't like that. And it's like I said, Lord, hit me with it because, you know, I, I don't want to be in no fear. And you want to walk in love and show love. But, uh, but it just sort of did something to me. Yeah. 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 Me, uh, me too, class team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even I used to call and talk to people. And I said, what is wrong with me? All I want to do is just sit here, you know. And then when I do go out, just like people are looking at me with my mask, I get an attitude with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I'm different, it's yeah. more, you know, like James said, it's not no rain out the window. It's not hard about the window. Yeah. Yeah. Meet certain people at the church. Do they want to shake my hand? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Everybody yeah, has a fear. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. we've had some couples in church in some sense, and they they didn't know if they should shake my hand or should they not. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And then when I got away from my hair, got my stuff to watch. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So it made. I think it makes a difference. Nothing on all. Mm -hmm. I, I agree okay. with you. It's like I, I'm like you, class. I don't even feel like going out anymore. And I thought, wow, this. I just don't feel like going. All right. You said in scripture, I believe we, we are there. You know, mm -hmm. it seems like the way I see it, when you look at history, Old Testament, New Testament, God has three uh, types. Of, I mean, should I say round? Mm -hmm. Anger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in three ways that it comes. Mm -hmm. And when you look at history, we see that if you ignore God's command, then you may reap pain or it might be a, a mm -hmm. broken relationship, financial loss, it could be any other thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you seem like we've gone beyond that kind of punishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like spanking the child a little bit, you know. Yeah. 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 To a level <laughs> where the other, I said there are three levels, so the other level, like in Romans 124, said that's God's wrath, mm -hmm. where you turn people 
loose to go ahead and sin the way it wants to. Yeah, yeah. A reprobate man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that second stage, in that third stage, you see in the Bible, God's wrath when he rains fire and brimstone down on the side of the mm -hmm. yeah. and God's yeah. turning the loose of the wrath. Mm -hmm. I knew we in the second stage where you just turn people loose. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and sin, do what you want to, and you will suffer the consequences. That's right. That's right. Yeah. A reprobate man. Uh -huh. That's where we are. Yeah. We haven't seen him turn into nothing, no fire and brimstone yet. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. But. But I'm. 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 I agree with you, Harvey. It's like he told me in this day and time, you're gonna have to have a personal relationship with him. <coughs> To survive, yeah, mm -hmm. to, yeah because yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and he'll take care of you. You know, he'll tell you what to do and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just like with our children relationship, we we you know we want to know they hurts, they pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want them succeed. We want them to know how they succeed. You want them, they and they like being around their parents. How we have a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. We have entered into our children's life. Yeah. And God. Wants to do the same thing. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. just uh, have religion, but enter into our lives. Be a part of leading guidance by the Holy Spirit. That's relationship. You know what? <clears throat> you just said that what came to my mind. When you have children, you can have, I don't care how many children you have, all of them will be different. So you don't have one child the way you do the other. That's child. right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of my children. I could talk to him a certain way and they got it. Another one, you had to get, you know, you had to kind of get a switch to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're yeah. different children, so he handles us yeah. in a different way. Mm -hmm. so I, I don't understand why we as Christians can't handle each other different and still love each other. You know, respect. and just respect each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God has given us. That's right. You know, That's right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. All right. But you know, in the midst of all this, God is working. Yeah. Yes, He is. There's yeah. still hope. He's still That's God. That's right. Yeah. He's still God. Is God's Spirit in the world working, convicting you? People getting saved every day. That's People right. Saved all right. In mm -hmm. the churches on Sundays when they're having services. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So God is still working, but, you know, we just have to keep our minds. You know, it looked like that the pressure is coming up on all of us to see what sort we are, see what we made of. You know, yeah. some people, I hear a lot of people hollering, I'm Christian, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. But the least thing, they like I say, we're talking about getting angry, and Abby done cussed you out. It's like, well, what are you, what are you made of here? What's it? And First John it said, God says that God is love. And I said, Lord, with the things that's going on around, I said, how do we stay from getting taunted and all this stuff? And he said, perfect love will cast out all fear. Yeah. And so I said, well, Lord, and so God is love. And I noticed that, that the way we handle it uh, in my uh, household, we have to turn off the news. We can't look, you know, we look at some, but we have to balance it. If we just look at all news and we don't pick up the word of God, we will live in fear. It'll just, it, you know, yeah. I can't, but yeah, but I have to, but I noticed that when we don't even turn it on, uh, or we look at the news that's bringing the truth, you know, uh, and, yeah. I, and, I, and we stand on the word of God, and now our faith level come back up, and we're not in that fear anymore, and it's like, we forget? that. Oh, I forget, is there something going on? But, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, in Luke 21, uh, Jesus is talking there, and he says in the 21st chapter, he names all these things that are coming upon the earth. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then he says, here's what we can do. 
they were saying that, that during that generation may come in their time to be selling that. Yeah. But yet, yeah. the word of God I don't always stands in any time. Yeah, Jesus, that's right. That's right. In Luke 21, 36, mm -hmm. Jesus tells us what to do. He said, be always on the watch. Yeah. Be sleeping. Yeah. Woo wee. Pray that mm. you will be able to escape all that is about to happen. Ooh. That's right. Mm. That's right. You will be able to stand. Mm. That's right. Just be ready. That's right. That's, right. that's scary. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Just be ready. Okay. Just be ready. That's All it. I right. like that. That's the end with it. Just be that's ready. It. I like that. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I like okay. that. Okay. Well, right. listen, I thank y'all for thank y'all for joining with us. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taking time out of your schedule, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, these are realities of life. Here. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Okay. Well, this yeah. ends our podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you enjoyed it and Stay tuned to the next one. Yeah. We're hoping and, and trusting that this is to help someone. Because God loves us. And the things are going to look like that, that a lot of people may think it ain't no God. You know, where is he being? But God knows he's not surprised. He's not shocked. He's God. And he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. So be blessed until next time. Amen.